What's going on guys, I am with the Moose, and today we have two new Legends in Mutt 16. Of course, they came out yesterday, I was pretty busy yesterday, so no video yesterday, unfortunately, but hey, I figured I'd hit you guys with a pack opening here today, and then probably some gameplay, uh, either later today or, or tomorrow, so should be pretty, pretty good. Vince Wolfork was one of the new Legends, of course, 98 overall, just beast in the middle. This card looks super cool, in my opinion. Uh, 71 speed, obviously, he's going to be slow, but that's actually kind of fast for Vince Wolfork. And considering the other stats, like 98 block, shed, 95 power move, 99 player, he's going to be kind of a good card. So let's take a look real quick. Compare him to Aaron Donald, the team of the year version that I had picked up just a few days back. He's definitely better. Uh, Donald, of course, has the speed on him, but otherwise, I would say Vince is pretty clearly definitely the run stopper you'd want. Donald's more of a pass rusher. Uh, from the DT spot, but that's pretty cool. Vince Wolfork, I would love to pick up that card on my team. A little expensive right now going for a mill, uh, so that's a little bit out of my price range. But let's take a look at DeBricka Shaw Ferguson, the other uh, legend that came out yesterday. He's a 97 overall at left tackle. Pretty good player. Let's see what his stats are looking like. 93 strength, 92 run block, 98 pass, and 93 impact block. And, you know, decent speed, 89 acceleration. Wow, that's actually very fast. Um, those are the key. That's the key speed stat you want to look at on um, offensive lineman cards. Obviously speed is nice to have, but the acceleration is how fast they're going to get to that speed. So if they have a higher excel, they can actually you know catch up to certain players, especially defensive linemen, but no big deal. I think I'm gonna stick with Anthony Munoz to be honest. Better run block, better pass block, very similar impact block and much better strength. So I think the only you know real advantage that Ferg has is that he has 89 acceleration, which is absurd. Like I said, that's crazy high. But for me, 750K, no way, Jose. So. Let's take a look at some packs. There's game changer packs in the game right now. Um, the topper gives you five uh, team of the year items with a chance at a player. I'm gonna stay away from that. I never really had much luck with game changers this year, ever since they increased the price of them. I think they were like 70,000 last year and they're 100,000 this year. So just pretty much, you know, once they increased the price that much, it was just over. So let's hit some more packs up, some more pro packs. Give me some flames. I did not get anything the last couple times I've opened packs. So we got to get something. Timmy Jernigan, that is not something we need. Uh, I'd love a Team of the Year poll. That would be cool as hell. Obviously, a Legend poll would be insanity as well. So let's take a look. Third pro pack down right here. Can we clutch at least something good? Ah, haha, -ha, Clinton Dix. Don't need that. Any inserts? No. So the first three packs, pretty darn bad. I got to go through my binder later today. 713 items. Wow. That is a little absurd, but let's keep it rolling. If you guys are watching the Pro Bowl today, let me know in the comments down below. I probably won't tune in for much longer, maybe a quarter or something like that. I got too much stuff to do, and the Pro Bowl I never really found to be that you know enjoyable to watch. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but let me know if you guys you know differ in the comment section down below. I always love watching the NBA All Star Game, the MLB All Star Game, but uh, you know the Pro Bowl is just not really not really what I love to see. So let's take a look. You know, three more Pro Packs, I think is going to be a decent amount just considering we cannot get anything else from these packs so let's go three or four more and see if we can finally get an elite a team of the year player would be really, really cool no not here Ray Malaluka at least it's above an 80 pretty high overall for a gold card but don't really need gold cards so it's not really you know the craziest pull in the world don't know what I'm doing here all right let's go a few more pro packs come on we got to hit big at some point we got to do it we got to clutch a legend pull or something elite no Stevie Brown all right, let's go two more pro packs. If we don't get any elites, I might have to end it there because it's just, it's killing me. So let's go one or two right here and hopefully we can get something good so we can continue this on and get a Virgil Green. So this is just brutal right now. All golds, no elites, nothing coming out, but one more pro pack to try it. See if we can get a legend pull. See if we can get a team of the year elite player. That would be sweet. Even a team of the year collectible would be nice as well. Nope, Bradley Roby. And that will end us out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And like I said, let me know if you're watching the Pro Bowl today and what you thought of it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.